Sonic. Hey, everybody. So, um, today is an interesting day. Uh, you know, like a lot of you on YouTube, um, you've probably done what I'm about to do today, but I'm pretty excited, actually. Um, when I first got into mining, uh, a friend of mine also got into mining at the same time. And so, so yeah, we've kind of been through this journey to, together. Um, but he has an ultrasonic cleaner. And uh, maybe you've seen my other video uh, uh, a while ago where I built a 12 GPU rig, but I put 10 GPUs in it. Well, those were all used cards. Uh, they're used 4 gig cards that I'm mining on Ravencoin. And I've cleaned a bunch of them by hand. So I've taken them apart, did the thermal paste, did the thermal pads, blew them out with, uh, with air. Um, but they are so dirty. Uh, they were mined on uh, when Ethereum... Uh, uh, you can mine with it with a four gig uh, card, but um, they've been working great. It was a great buy, and we got them cheap. So yeah, that was a that was a win. But the problem is they're really dirty, and if we don't clean them, then uh, it's going to be a problem here. So let's take a look at the rig. I'll show you which cards we're going to clean today. What a mess, hey? Jeez. Okay, those are the, my MSI cards that we're going to clean. Today, so I'm gonna take about five of them off and we are going to clean them with ultrasonic cleaner, with an ultrasonic cleaner. This is gonna be cool, actually. Okay, so here I am at the other facility. Uh, I'm not gonna do uh, a video. I'm not gonna show too much about how to take the cards apart. I'm sure uh, a lot of you guys are already aware of that, but that's the card on the inside. Okay, um, so I got a close-up here on this, and you can see I've actually blown this card out a couple times, but you can see when you pull open some of these used cards, oh my goodness, is it dirty. All right, so first thing you need to know is that this process is pretty easy. Um, safety is a bit of a thing. You're going to want to get some gloves and some eye protection and probably a face mask. Um, but the things you're going to need, you're going to need flux off. That's about a $70 jug there. Um, and some deionized water. Uh, you can mix, uh, we mixed it 50-50. I think that's a little rich. You can mix it a little less if you want. When it's mixed 50-50, man, this stuff smells. So, um, definitely wear some uh, face protection. Um, after you pull it out, you're going to have to either wash it in a deionized water bath or a, what we do is we watch, washed it in um, isopropyl alcohol. Okay, so those are the two things you need there, plus some obviously some isopropyl alcohol. Um, and then here is the uh, ultrasonic uh, cleaner, the COZ Digital Ultrasonic Cleaner. This thing's about 300 bucks. Uh, you'll see the number 27 flashing there. That's the temperature. So what it does is it takes, uh, you know, when you have it full with fluid like we do, it takes quite a long time to get the temperature up. We waited till it got to 50 degrees and that's when we started cleaning. Uh, so the one side is the temperature and the other side is the cleaner. So when it gets to temperature, you put your, what you want to clean inside and you just press the start button and you see there it's set to five minutes. So um, this thing's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Uh, let's get doing it.
All right, guys, I thought maybe I would uh, show you just a little bit of his setup here. Um, it's maintenance day, so it's kind of a mess. He's, uh, we're cleaning a bunch of ASICs, and there's a bunch of his GPUs going there. A lot of them on Ravencoin, but he's, he's got a lot on Ethereum too. So we got everything pulled apart. We got cards pulled apart. We're cleaning stuff. Um, he's also building a test rig in the, in the back there. And yeah, yeah, you know what that cup is. Okay, so another thing I wanted to show you here is we run them for five minutes uh, in the ultrasonic cleaner and then we flip them over and run them for another five minutes. Okay, so this is, um, we did two cleanings of five minutes per side. So it's been in the ultrasonic cleaner for 10 minutes and there you go. Look at that. Uh, you saw that card before and look how clean it is now um so again what we do after is you can do a, a deionized water bath but what we do is we give it a bath in isopropyl alcohol um i i just think this is just better just bath the whole thing in isopropyl alcohol dries quick and then what we do is we take a compressor um we turn the the uh, air down on the compressor a little bit to about 50 pounds and then blow off the card and then it just dries a lot faster okay here we are back at my place uh i am putting the cards back together i'm not going to show you all of it um and you know there's lots of videos that show you know how to put these cards back together uh i, d I am uh, cleaning off the chip again with some more isopropyl alcohol before i put the thermal paste on and i'm just throwing all the pads on and everything here um so a couple things to say first if you have a lot of cards or even if you're just buying some used cards here and there, I would definitely recommend an ultrasonic cleaner. The thing is super easy to use and the value you get out of, you know, say $500 worth of equipment is incredible. Um, I think it should definitely be a part of any mining farms uh, equipment. Um, you know, I didn't get a a lot of hash rate increase maybe maybe a little bit but the biggest thing i noticed is i have the auto fan set up on hive and you know this car that i'm working on in particular it was running at about 50 to 60 percent on the fan uh to keep it at the temperature that i wanted and it dropped it all the way down to 20 percent so i'm hoping this is going to increase the uh longevity of the card keep everything nice and clean and running well so uh thanks for watching the video guys we will see you next time